Welcome to another episode of Daily Gym. Today's video is a bit of a follow-up video to the one I made yesterday, in which I started talking about how my working style has evolved and changed in these four months since I left my company and started working for myself. And yesterday I focused on the vision board, but today I want to focus on two other aspects or processes of my working style that have really helped me improve my productivity and effectiveness. The first one I want to mention is batching. Basically, when I started working for myself, I continued making to-do lists and going through my to-do list on a daily basis. But as a when you're working for yourself or as an entrepreneur or startup founder, you realize that you pretty much have to take care of everything yourself in the beginning. And that means that your mind is constantly switching from task to task. And I know from literature and from science that because your mind is switching from task to task, it takes a little bit of time to make that switch. Because when you're going to a next task, you might you might, might still be wondering about the previous task. And also it takes more energy to switch from one point from one thing to the next. But it took me some time to really figure out in which time period do I want to employ batching or basically grouping the same kind of tasks together so that your mind doesn't have to switch so much and you can just go on a roll basically or go into a state of flow. So should I do things on an on an hourly, on a daily, on a weekly, on a monthly basis. And what I'm currently doing is that I pretty pretty much make my schedule for a certain week on a weekly basis. And I may I use one or two days to make most of the content, then maybe one day for editing or or doing business development for the future. And then I've got another one or two days in which I do most of my coaching as well as calling with various people. Of course, there are other things that need to be taken care of on a daily basis, but some of the more bigger tasks that take more time or more mental energy, I try to group them together into one or two day increments and try to get everything knocked out like that. The second thing that I um, started doing is separating the time I spent thinking and separating it from the time I'm, I need to do certain things. You don't realize it so much when you're working in a team or working with other people or in a company, because at that time, other people can hold you accountable for actually producing certain results, getting certain work done, because there's always somebody waiting for your work. If you're working in a team with colleagues, your work is just a small part of the overall team. Then if your superior asks you to get something done, they will impose a deadline on you. If you're promising something to a certain customer, again, there's an there's a deadline imposing you. And if you don't do it, you probably lose the business or lose some sales. But when you're working by yourself, and especially when you're starting up and you don't have sale, you don't have sales yet, or you're trying to generate sales, your mind goes all over the place. What is the most efficient way to get things done? In which order should I do the certain things? Should I forget about this task and instead focusing on this? Or I just read or heard about this particular task or skill, should I start spending time learning and, and doing that? Your mind goes all over the place, always trying to look for the most efficient, effective, productive means to get the job done, rather than actually spending time getting the job done. And even if you're the most productive person, if you're only spending time doing certain things, you also need a bit of time to reflect. Because if I just continue to, to let's say, post picture after picture on Instagram, about myself and the food that I'm eating. But my whole goal is to grow my Instagram business and to let people know what kind of skills I have and what I'm trying, what kind of value I try to offer to the world. But I post that kind of image that I'm not really learning. I don't really have the feedback loop. So what I started doing for myself is that, partially because of the vision board I created, is that when I'm, it's time to work, when I'm not doing anything else, I do the tasks that I'm supposed to do. And I try and I do the work that I set out for myself to get done today and this week. But when I'm eating by myself or when I'm going out for a walk or I buy groceries or I'm taking a shower, that's the moment that I let myself, that I let my mind wander. Usually I have a podcast in as well. So I'm kind of switching back and forth. It might not be the most efficient, but generally my I've gotten used to listening to a podcast and at the same time letting my mind go all over the place. Then once I finish whatever I was doing and my mind was thinking and I'm back behind my desk able to do the work again, I quickly take notes of whatever I had in mind to make the process more efficient or to some new kind of business development idea and try to slot it in somewhere and then go back to actually doing the things that I should be doing again. Those are the three things, the vision board, the batching and when to think and when to do certain things that have really helped me a lot in the last three or four months to become more effective and productive. 
I hope you find something useful for yourself. If you have anything that you notice that I could do even better, then please let me know. And otherwise, I hope it was useful for yourself. I'll be back with another video tomorrow. So have a nice day today, everybody.